Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com. I'm back and I am working on my first amplifier here at the new place. Sorry for the poor lighting. I need to get some replacement bulbs for the light above me. So you just have to make do for now with the with the light I have for now. So we have an Ameritron AL811H here in for repair. Grids are not grounded, so I'm going to take this whole assembly out, ground the grids, check the SO239 connectors. The caps have been taped really well up underneath the board so they're not swinging. Otherwise the, the braided material gets frayed and then ends up needing to be replaced. Plate choke looks like it's in good condition. So I'm going to go ahead and take that all apart and do that and I will check everything else over and I'll go over it when it's all done. Needs a new set of tubes. So I will uh, be back soon. See you soon. Okay, so I have the socket assembly out. I'm going to remove all of this, ground the grids directly. Put some super glue on the winding up here to hold it in place. It's loose. MOVs are just blown apart. So we had a tube fail from the plate all the way to the filament. And this is getting 572s, by the way. So I'm going to remove these two. Sorry for the poor lighting. I'm, I'll go buy some new light bulbs today. I noticed that he replaced the fan and I'll have to redo all of this. This is, you know, this is inadequate. It goes right through the hole there. So uh, I'll fix that. Uh, wire ties on the inside here. Wire nuts, I should say. I'm sorry. On the inside here also. So I'm going to get to work and I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, so I directly grounded each grid pin. Once again, there's only one active grid pin per socket. There are four pins per tube, two for the filament, one for the grid, and one does nothing. That's this one right here. So here, here, and I added the gas discharge tubes. So if this is getting 572B tubes are less likely to flash from the plate all the way to the filament. So uh, I add them anyway. It's, it's part, so I always add them. So I can remove the MOVs, so if there's ever a, a short uh, a flash within the tube, it'll go right to ground here. Um, so it looks like one here, one side of the filament, and one on the other side of the filament. So. All four tubes are in parallel. All, fil all four filaments are in parallel. Okay, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get back to work. I'll be right back. See you soon. Okay, so I noticed he had the fan mounted backwards. So I'm gonna install it the proper direction, in the proper direction. So the air should be. There's the rotations uh, counterclockwise, and it is sucked in from the back and pushed into the amplifier. It was also missing the grill. So I'm gonna put the finger guard, grill guard on here and lengthen these wires, put a grommet here. I'll use Teflon wire as I have a ton of it. Um, and I will remove the old wiring and go right to the board. So heat shrink everything look really nice. I'll solder heat shrink and go through and then solder the board. Okay. I'll be back, see you soon. Okay, so flip the fan around, put the grill guard on, new wiring, uh, soldered heat and used heat shrink over it, put the grommet through the panel, go directly to the board, everything is zip tied, I reinstalled the clamp, used kept nuts on the inside here. It's all good. The input SO239 has like no grip, just slips in and out. So this one has a little bit. I'm gonna re I'll replace both. 
So I'm going to do the bias mod and then reinstall the socket assembly. So I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, I'm back with the completed Ameritron AL811H. Here are the old parts. Grid assemblies. Grid loading resistor assemblies. I took the wire nuts out. It had 20 amp fuses in it. That's not good. Uh, it's wired for 120, so it requires 12 amp fast blow fuses. I ended up re replacing the straps. They were frayed a bit, some of them. So, replaced those. Took out the blown up MLVs. These aren't needed when you put in the gas discharge tubes. Replaced the meter protection diode. So, that's that. So, some new straps. Some super glue on the top winding to hold it in place. Resoldered the plate blocking capacitors, the board over here, made sure the shaft was aligned properly between the output rotary switch, you know, the band switch and the input rotary switch. Always make sure to re-secure the safety choke. I put a solder tab in there. They uh, solder it to one of these, so I replace it with a solder tab. That protects you if you ever have a plate blocking cap fail, stops the DC from being able to go out to your antenna or up here, you know, basically on your output SO239. So replace the SO239s with Teflon, new Teflon SO239s. So those are good. All the screws are nice and tight for the standoffs. You want a really good connection between the grid and the chassis, so you want all of those nice and tight on the top side and the bottom side. The bias modification of the voltage divider back to the center tap of the filament. The fan guard on like I showed before. Clean the rotary switches with the oxid gold. Resoldered the connection to the base of the plate choke. I added a longer screw. They always use a really short screw. And a lot of times during shipping, because it's only catching a couple threads of the ceramic, a lot of times the ceramic will break. So I put a, a longer screw in. And uh I just want to make sure that screw's nice and tight over here. So uh, that's about it. If you need an amplifier repaired? Give me a call. My phone number is 203 892 4119. That's 203 892 4119. Jam packed here. More amps are showing up. There's one in the box down there, one up there, one down there. So. Getting these in and out. So stay tuned. Lots, lots of amplifiers to come. And this week I will be on the power supply for the 6 meter amp. I'm going to get that done too. So, But uh, the owner of this amp has been very patient. He knew I was moving, so I wanted to get this done. And the other one in the box, I'm going to get on that real quick. So once again, 203. 892-4119 and my website is ampreparegui.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Take care. 73.